Yo guys, what's up? My name is Jack2505. This is 2505 Gaming and today we're going to be talking about Second Extinction which has just been released today on Early Access. I had no idea that the game was coming out today. This has got to be one of my most anticipated games of the year which to be honest I thought was coming out next year. This is a really, really, really good game, especially for Early Access. So far, my game time is around two hours. I haven't encountered any bugs or any problems at the moment. Maybe I'm one of the lucky ones, but I basically downloaded a game, went straight into multiplayer, got into a game instantly, and basically had an absolute blast. The way to describe this game, I would say, would be Deep Rock Galactic meets Left 4 Dead with a bit of Gears 5 Escape. That That's probably the best way to basically describe this game. It is a lot of fun. The gunplay is, is really solid, really snappy, really accurate. Um, the movement as well in this game. Very rapid, very, um, let's say, Unreal Tournament Quake-like. Very fast, very, very rapid. The enemies, the dinosaurs themselves, they come in all sorts of shapes and sizes. They move very fast, they're very aggressive. I would say the AI is, at this moment, pretty smart. And I have to really, really congratulate the devs here with this game so far. I know it's only been two hours and maybe in a couple of days time, more problems could occur or there's problems that I'm not really aware of at this moment. But so far, for an early access game, this has released a lot better than some games that claim to be finished and are not. So far, there doesn't seem to be any traditional campaign, but that might come later on. But at the moment, in its early access form, there is no campaign. So you either play the game solo or you can play with up to two other players. So basically, three player co-op shooting crazy action madness against these dinosaurs. And it is just constant action moving around a big massive map which kind of reminds me of a little bit of apex legends the game actually looks like a br game but obviously it's not this is a very very intense game and if this is the base and it is 19 pounds 49 on steam in the uk so that's a when i saw that price i thought you know i'm, I'm gonna jump in and play it a really good price and if this is the base i am very very happy over the next few days and the next coming weeks i will be going over every single character all the weapons and perks and grenades and specials just to see what this game is really really all about there seems to be around eight missions eight mission types that you can choose from um and a lot of different regions as well that some are uh, a low difficulty, some are immediate, and some are very high. And then you obviously have to level up to get to those those particular areas. There is missions called contracts that unlock at level five. Once I've unlocked it, I think I'm around four and a half now. Once I've unlocked the contracts, I'm gonna be diving into those missions and then doing videos on those missions just to show you guys what it's all about. I would say if you are if you're a PC user on Steam and you're still on the fence and you're not quite sure about the game, I would say just basically have a look at any Twitch stream or YouTube video, see some gameplay, see what you think, ask questions. You can ask me questions in the comment section below if you like. So far, I think this game is quite good. I think it's, well, I think it's really good. A lot of fun and runs very well for something that just came out today very very fresh indeed or well, like i said i've not come across many bugs in my gameplay so far for xbox users this is going to be a, a series x game which is looking to be released around early to mid 2021 so it could be quite a wait for the xbox guys but for pc users you're ready to jump in right now if you're willing to pay the 19 pounds 49 on steam also another thing i would say it is a free player co-op game I think it could have been four. I mean, the map is absolutely huge. There's a lot of space, and maybe adding one more player and one and let's say a lot more enemies. Three, I think, is a little bit. I mean, I'm I'm okay with three, but I feel it does have the potential to push it to at least four player co-op. I mean, the map, as I said before, the map is big enough, and 
uh, the, the the enemy AI with the big monsters. I mean, just think something like Monster Hunter. That's that's another thing that people are kind of comparing it to. Is Monster Hunter with guns shooting dinosaurs? So the character I've been using is called Rosie, who is classed as an enforcer. Her abilities, some of them include field repairs, positive reinforcement, and the static barricade, which is a personal favorite of mine from the Gears of War Horde series, which is quite a good barrier when you're trying to control choke points. So yeah, Rosie, she's a pretty interesting character. Um, she's an African character, which I'm very proud about. But there's um, a lot of, I've been hearing quite a lot of players complaining about the um, the voice like the the voice work in this game so far so there is an option to basically switch it off which i did so it was funny for the first couple of games but after a while i mean they do talk a lot a lot so you you be able to see the text all over the screen every time we're interacting with stuff or shooting stuff and so on and so forth so if the if the voice acting does get to you just go into the options and just put it put the voice um dialogue all the way down to zero so you don't have to hear it in second extinction there will be four heroes to choose from at the start jurgen who is a trooper ortega also a trooper rosie enforcer and amir who is an operative so it's going to start with four heroes and they've confirmed that there is more to come so it's going to be more content along the road in regards to the heroes and regards to the dinosaurs there's around seven to eight types and there's bound to be more there's probably going to be big bosses and and so on and so forth so at the moment i'm looking to just continue playing this game covering other games as well but second is extinction has basically come into into my lap today didn't expect it to be releasing even this year and i'm very very happy to be playing this game Thank you very much for making it to the end of the video. My name is Jack2505. This is 2505 Gaming, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.